26 year olds are not supposed to die because they don't have insulin. But without insurance, Alex Smith couldn't afford the $1,300 a month to control his diabetes. So he tried rationing his insulin, empty vials found near his body. I was so heartbroken just to see that he had resorted to those type of measures. Seven million Americans depend on insulin to control their blood sugar. But with few competitors, the price has skyrocketed from $21 in 1996 to $320 per vial today. And many people require several vials each month. After spending $524 on two vials for her daughter, a frustrated Doreen Rudolph's tweet went viral. I left the pharmacy and sat in my car and cried. I don't have the money. I have love and worry 24-7. A Yale University study finds one in four diabetics cuts back on their insulin because of cost. Mostly middle class Americans with limited insurance putting themselves at great risk. Over time, if the blood sugar is not in check, it leads to complications such as blindness, kidney disease, nerve disease, amputations. President Trump has promised to bring drug prices down, but his HHS secretary, Alex Azar, came from insulin maker Eli Lilly, which more than doubled insulin prices from 2011 to 2016. In a statement, Lilly says, in the last 18 months, we have introduced a number of initiatives to help reduce the amount people pay at the pharmacy and provide access to lower income people with diabetes. But for Alex Smith's mother, you know, the, the child that I gave birth to, my flesh and blood, I lost him because of pharmaceutical greed. A lifetime of heartbreak. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington.